In this lecture, we will cover the total expenditure method of measuring elasticity of demand. In the previous lecture, I have covered the proportionate method of measuring elasticity of demand. In case you need to see that video, I will provide the link in the description box. You can follow it from there. So, let's move on to the total expenditure method or the total outlay method of measuring the elasticity of demand. Now it is generally observed that the change in the price of a commodity will cause a change in the total expenditure incurred on the purchase of that commodity. Now, under the expenditure method, we study the impact of the change in price on the total expenditure of a good. What is the total expenditure? Total expenditure is equal to the price of the commodity and the quantity that is purchased. Now, with a change in the price, the total expenditure usually changes. It can change in three ways. It can increase, it can decrease or it can remain constant. Now, under this method, the elasticity is measured by comparing the total expenditure made on the good before the price change and after the ch uh, price change. So what happens is that when the price of the commodity rises and with the rise in the price, the total expenditure also rises. That is, price and the total expenditure move in the same direction. Then we say that according to the expenditure method, the elasticity of demand is less than 1. That is, the demand is inelastic. When the price and the total expenditure move in the same direction, we say that the elasticity of demand is inelastic. It is less than 1. Now, in this situation, when the price of the commodity and the total expenditure move in the opposite direction, we say that the elasticity of demand is greater than 1. You can see that with the increase in the price, the total expenditure will fall in this case. And with the decrease in the price, the total expenditure will increase in this case. That is, they will move in the opposite direction. So, the elasticity of demand will be greater than 1. When the price of the commodity increase or decrease, but the total expenditure on that commodity does not change, we say that the elasticity of demand will be equal to 1. That is with the change in the price, that is with the increase in the price or the decrease in the price, the total expenditure of the commodity does not change. So, the elasticity of demand will be unit elastic. Now, for, the, for this, we take an example. You can see that with the rise in the price, the total quantity is falling and the total expenditure is increasing. That is the price and the total expenditure are moving in the same direction with the rise in the price. The total expenditure is also rising. Here we studied that with the rise in the price, when the total expenditure also rises, the elasticity of demand is less than 1. So, in this numerical example, we see when these are moving, this implies that the elasticity of demand is less than 1. Let's move on to the other example. Here you see with the rise in the price, the quantity demanded falls, but the total expenditure on this commodity remains the same. In such a situation, we say that the elasticity of demand is equal to 1. Here we say, saw this only that with the increase in the price, the total expenditure is remaining constant or with the decrease in the price, the total expenditure is remaining constant. This implies that the elasticity of demand is equal to 1. Now let's move on to the other example which says that with the increase in the price of the commodity, you see that the total expenditure on the commodity is falling. That is, total expenditure and uh, price are moving in the opposite direction, which means that the elasticity of demand is greater than. We saw this in this case when the price and the quantity, uh, when the price and the total expenditure move in the opposite direction, then the elasticity of demand is greater than one. Now let us look at this thing. 
आई विल टेल यू द एक्सपेंडिचर मेथड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू परसेंटेज चेंज इन प्राइस एंड द क्वांटिटी नाउ यू विल सी दैट इफ इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड इज ग्रेटर देन वन व्हाट डज दैट मीन दैट द परसेंटेज चेंज इन क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज ग्रेटर देन द परसेंटेज चेंज इन द प्राइस ऑफ द कमोडिटी यू विल नोटिस दैट द टोटल एक्सपेंडिचर विल move in the opposite direction of the price why because the elasticity of demand is greater than 1 when the elasticity of demand is equal to 1 which means that the change in the quantity demanded is equal to the change in the price of the commodity you will notice that the total expenditure will remain unchanged If the elasticity of demand is less than one, that is percentage change in quantity demanded is less than the percentage change in price. That is elasticity of demand is less than one. You will see that the total expenditure and price will ch change in the same direction. Okay. Now we will move on to the numericals that can be asked in the exams. Now. uh if the price of a commodity falls from 10 to rupees 8 that is price of the commodity was 10 pehle before and it fell to 8 as a result its demand rises from 80 to 100 that is with the fall in the price the demand is rising from 80 to 100 you have to find the elasticity of demand by the expenditure method you know that the total expenditure is equal to p into q so when you do this when you multiply 10 into 8 you get 800 you multiply 8 into 100 you will get 800 you will see that the total expenditure is unchanged due to the change in the price so you will say that the elasticity of demand is unit elastic now let's move on to the second numerical what does it say as the price of a product decreases by 7% the total expenditure goes up by 3.5% this indicates that price and total expenditure are moving in the opposite direction price and the total expenditure are moving in the opposite direction why because the price is falling and the expenditure is going up so when this is happening this means that the elasticity of demand is greater than 1 or it is elastic okay let's move on to the third numerical example it says if the elasticity of demand is given to you as 2 uh, sorry point 2 how will the expenditure on a good be affected if there is 10% increase in the price you have you are given that there is a 10% change in the price of the commodity and the elasticity of demand so you can quickly find ch percentage change in quantity demanded by using this formula that the elasticity of demand is percentage change in quantity demanded to percentage change in price of the commodity so the elasticity of demand is equal to minus 0.2 and percentage change in price is 10% we ignore the negative sign we write elasticity of demand as 0.2 percentage change in quantity demanded as it is upon 10 which is percentage change in price so percentage change in quantity demanded comes out to be 2 now we know that the according to the expenditure method when the percentage change in quantity demanded is less than the percentage change in price in this case we say that the percentage change in quantity demanded is 2% and the percentage change in price is 10% then the elasticity of demand is less than 1 that is in such a situation the expenditure will change in the same direction as the price change in this case we see that the price is increasing by 10% so if the price is increasing by 10% uh, the total expenditure will increase because uh because of this thing that the percentage change in quantity demanded is less than the percentage change in price that is when the elasticity of demand is less than 1 we'll say that with the increase in the price 
of the commodity, the total expenditure will rise. Now, you can find it without calculating percentage change in quantity demanded because you can see that the elasticity of demand in absolute terms will be 0 0.2, which is inelastic. So, you know where... When does the elasticity, when is the elasticity of one, elasticity of demand less than one, the percentage change in quantity demand will be less than the percentage change in price. That is the total expenditure will same, change in the same direction as that of the price of the commodity. Okay. Now let us move on to the fourth example, which says that when the elasticity of demand is equal to minus one, the consumer buys 50 units of that good when the price is two. That is, you can see that when the elasticity of demand is equal to 1, the consumer is buying 50 units of the good. That is, Q is 50 when the price is 2. So, the total expenditure is 100. Now, how many units will a consumer buy if the price rises from rupees 2 to rupees 4? That is, we know that the price has risen to 4. We don't know the quantity. We don't know the expenditure, but we know that when the elasticity of demand is equal to 1 and we have to use the expenditure method to find the solution. So, we know that the elasticity of demand is equal to 1. So, the total expenditure will remain constant, right? So, we know that the total expenditure P into Q will be equal to 100 in this case also when we don't know the price, uh, when we don't know the quantity. So, we just have to plug in this. P into Q is equal to 100. 4 into Q is equal to 100. Q is equal to 100 by 4, which is equal to 25. So, the quantity demanded will be 25. That is, with the increase in the price, the quantity demanded will be 25. We calculated this using the expenditure method. You can do this using the proportionate method itself but sometimes it is specified in the exams that you have to use a particular method to find the quantity or the elasticity of demand. Now in the next lecture I will cover the geometric method of measuring elasticity of demand. Please subscribe to the channel to get latest updates about the new lectures and you can follow us on Facebook and uh, Instagram and Twitter as well.